I've returned to the capital of Nepal to conclude my journey. Life in Kathmandu has become increasingly difficult since the earthquake. Tourist numbers have fallen and the fuel crisis has raised the cost of living. I've been invited to the Kathmandu Association of the Deaf. I'm meeting some of the older deaf people who've been given access to language and learning late on in life. The Association for the Deaf was founded in the 80s, but in 2008, Preston charity Deafway started the Older Deaf Persons Project here. To think some of these people couldn't communicate before finding this help is astonishing. Samundra is 82. Before coming here, he was a deaf person with no language, had been cast out by his family and was homeless. Now he's fluent in sign language and has a network of people around to help him. Luckily, at the time of the earthquake, the Older Deaf Persons Project had planned a picnic away from the city centre. Even still, the experience has stayed with them. In uh, um, that earthquake time, we are in a picnic and we are very afraid. We couldn't uh, eat our food that time and I'm uh, very afraid that uh, what about my house and uh, when we uh, return that time I'm very crying because uh, most of the houses is collapsed. Still I'm off, uh, afraid sometimes because of uh, aftershock. That picnic could well have saved the older deaf people from harm during the earthquake. Deafways Project is offering these people and many more a quality of life they'd never have had. Where the earthquake's concerned, they're able to share their thoughts and experiences with like-minded people in an environment they trust. It's been a very eye-opening trip and one that I'll never forget. It's the first time I've been submerged into deaf culture and I've learned that deaf people wouldn't necessarily choose to be hearing in many cases. This is a community of people determined to change perceptions about deafness and achieve everything that a hearing person can. In Nepal, the last nine months have been tough for everyone, but Deathway is certainly playing a big part in making things easier for deaf people now and in the future. <laughs>